I spoke to the representative from uh, GoToMeeting, GoToWebinar uh, yesterday, and he gave me some good advice on how to uh, include video in your GoToWebinar sessions. It, um, it does work in GoToMeeting, but it is uh, a lot more sure to work in GoToWebinar. So um, I'd like to show you what he showed me. Uh, I'm going to schedule a webinar right now. And I'm going to call it Video Test. And do not need to put in a description of the goal. And uh, I'm going to have it scheduled for 1 o'clock today, of course. Uh, what we have is English, and there it is. This is uh, where you put your edits and ask people to join. But I'm going to go right down to something that's pretty important, and it's this uh, videos beta. And when I, you can see that you can put up to five videos to share with the, your audience, and you hit edit. Okay, now that you've hit edit, you see this great place where you can drag and drop uh, videos for use during your webinar. I'm going to drag the um, file that is an MPR, MP4 file, and it is on the use of the trip generation tool. And there it is. It's been added. Okay, let's test it out. I'm going to go to my webinars, and uh, this is important. I'm going to uh, start, like a regular start, and you can see it going through all its processes right now. I'm starting up. I know my sound is okay. Um, I'm going to bring the control panel in. Welcome to the webinar. You have entered as an organizer and may now speak to any other organizers or panelists on the line. When you are ready to begin the presentation, press the Start Broadcast button on the GoToWebinar control panel to allow all attendees to hear you. This system will notify you once you begin your broadcast. Okay, uh, this is important. Uh, you want to start your broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Now, under the share um, screen, show screen, excuse me, um, you will have this uh, down arrow. And instead of what we usually choose and which one of our monitors, we go to uploaded videos. Okay, and we start it, and everybody, including the organizer, should hear it at least when it starts. Hello, and thank you for your interest in the FDOT online trip generation tool. This video has been prepared to accompany the FDOT trip generation tool user's guide so we see and that provide really a simple step-by-step -step so overview of I'm how gonna to use the tool itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this, so and I am going to close it. Now I'm going to show you another way it can be done uh, on the fly. Uh, and I was told it's not quite as um, foolproof when you're uh, sharing it. But let's do it. And it's more like what we discussed yesterday, where it says webcam and video. So uh, this way, you want to share a video. And what's different about this is you can pick up the uh, video on the fly. Uh, this one is in documents and uh, I am going to choose uh, something from our study on driveways within exclusive right turn lanes and I'm going to open it up. And you can see it's a little different here. 
um, at least from what I can see because it doesn't fill up my screen uh, it should fill up the audience screen okay so I am going to stop that I am going to try it again with um, a different video and instead of documents I'm going to go to uh, my desktop and I'm going to choose um, a proportionate share example I'm going to open it and there is narration on this I cannot hear the narration I'll move ahead maybe there's no narration here on the other hand I believe the audience can hear this narration so um, what's important if you use this function is that you know your video pretty well so you can discuss it after it plays okay so those are the ways that you can share video and I hope it helps.